folks, it's John Piper with the weekend video and it's Saturday the 9th of June and we're starting today with a chart of gold. Right, by request I have marked on some uh, the wave count on this chart. This is not an ideal ideal count at all but uh, uh, I'll, I'll run through it before I show it again just to show the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, wave one, then a very irregular A B C wave two a wave three with a not much of a four five up here which again isn't ideal and then wave four and wave five so that counts as one in this count um, the two wave actually is quite quite clear a B C although this ending ending thing is not ideal either uh, in fact it's a case of a triangle with an upside break um, but again we have a wave 1 here which is, is also not ideal but an A, B, C so once again there's a case for a thrust up uh, as a wave 3 uh, I've gone long again um, and uh, I mean certainly we have a very good pattern in, into, the, into the low uh, which I've outlined previously uh, so I won't do that again so although this isn't ideal we do have the setup in place um, and I'm just waiting to see whether we we uh, break out here. I mean, currently my stop is below this level here, so pretty tight. Um, and I've still got the gold stocks, etc., etc., uh, as discussed. So um, not ideal, but uh, that's what we've got at the moment. Right onto the DAX. We had the secondary peak here. We discussed this before. Um, 78.6 retracement level of the previous decline. Uh, another somewhat uh, complex count with a wave one there which counts as five waves uh, an irregular a b c two wave a nice clear five part three wave which is much clearer than gold actually so that's wave three a wave four and then a wave five so i'm treating that as wave one of the next leg down and we then have a fairly corrective looking abc here as wave A of wave 2, we then have an A, B, C as wave B of 2, um, and you notice that with this, this move here from around uh, 12,540 up to 129,40 or thereabouts, so about 400 points, lower 1,260, so you have a target around 13,000. And that's, uh, next week is expiry week, so I'm looking for a rally in 13,000. We could fall away more. I mean, it's possible that you know that we, we're not going to see that rally, but certainly that is my preferred count at the moment. Uh, at that point, I'd expect a impressive decline coming in. Uh, we saw the first leg down. I think it's around 1,800 points, as I recall. Um, this leg, if, if it's a corrective C wave, should be around the same. Um, if it's at a third wave down, then it could be a lot more significant than that. Um, so looking at a test of around the uh, uh, 11,400 level, that kind of thing. So a significant move due down here. Um, and I think that may well come in around expiry as, again. As, I, as you know, I've, I think expiry is a pretty important time. Um, certainly the chart pattern suggests a bit more upside uh, before that peak is in. But let's have a quick look at the rally off this low so far. right in terms of time um, we had around two and a half days for the move from the low there to that peak of the A wave another two and a half days there approximately um, so if that pertains the C wave could be a little bit longer in terms of time um, but that would suggest some kind of peak around Wednesday Thursday difficult to really count the pattern right now I mean this, this sideways drift is quite unusual though uh, there is this uh, summit, I think, at the weekend. Uh, so it became rather becalmed uh, and no real clear pattern moment. We, we, we could have seen a fifth wave, in fact, so we could see some kind of sell-off, perhaps. Um, anyway, we'll see how that works out. But at the moment, uh, I'm still looking for a bigger bigger decline. Um, we just need to see this uh, this corrective rally pan out. I turn to the NASDAQ. We go from the peak back here in uh, January. It looks like an A... B, C, and a regular A, B, C. And then from the low here we have new impulsive action uh, with possibly a 1, 2, and then a 1, 2, 
one, ABC two, that's clear. Three to there, that's a third of the third, quite an important to landmark as it were. ABC four wave. Um, this could be a fifth here, or the fifth could now be continuing, so this could all be a fifth wave um, with one more rally due. Um, and that would then give us uh, five waves up from here. So let me get that right. Five waves up from here to there. Uh, and then there's one, two. So uh, the case would be for another four and five. So one more decline, one more rally, and then that would be a final peak coming in. Um, but obviously at new highs, uh, I mean, we need to wait for the, um, the, the pattern to complete, followed by some kind of five wave decline. I, I'm not inclined to go long of stocks. I think the, um, I think the profits are all, the majority of profits are well behind us. Um, so obviously trading is one thing, but I don't personally trade stocks in that, in that fashion. Um, but I will be looking to use the uh, 6633 position so a system both on longs and shorts um, as I've been testing it out and it seems to work pretty well in both directions um, and there is a uh, an EA or a bot in development which uh, is quite useful because there's so many orders to place it does get, it does get quite uh, um, quite wearisome to have to uh, keep placing all these different orders Alright, finally Bitcoin um, from the peak here we've got this clear A B and C. Now at this point we have a possible one, two, which I've discussed previously. One, two, and that counts fairly well. But this thing here is very, very dithery, not very encouraging to the one, two, one, two count. Um, it's not really very encouraging for the triangular count either. We have this clear triangle, obviously. Um, suggesting that we should see a move up to 9,000, although of course that, that line is coming down, um, so that 9,000 is a movable target. Um, but all we're seeing is this, this really weak drift sideways really, um, which obviously is not very encouraging, in fact quite the opposite. Uh, so hard to really, really say what's happening here. Um, I mean certainly we can't rule out a break, break down, another leg down, um, so this could be an A wave which took us from 20,000 down to 6,000, a 70% decline. Um, it's not impossible, we could see the same thing here. It would take us down to about 3,000 thereabouts. Uh, that would not be a very happy occurrence for the uh, crypto market. I mean, I think there are coins like EOS, for example, which are taking over the leadership. Um, and, and Bitcoin seems to be a bit of a dinosaur at the moment. I'm not sure there's uh, so much uh, so much vibe. You've got all the ICOs, and so many of them proving to be rather un unspectacular, but the good ones are good. Um, but trying to sort the wheat from the chaff is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, so right now, hard to be too positive. Let's have a look at the short term action just to see what it, uh, it says. This is the hourly charts. I mean, clearly we have trend line resistance around here. So a break above 7.8 would certainly be encouraging. Uh, I mean, there are five wave patterns. I mean, there's five and a five up to there, but Again, it just dithers around. I mean, A, B, C, maybe another regular A, B, C, another five waves up, but then you got just got a big A, B, C, which doesn't help matters very much. Uh, so this is also a triangle, in fact. Uh, so there's not much to get too excited about really at the moment. Um, I mean, there could be a C wave coming in, but I mean, even if there was, it uh, it may just go to the top of the triangle and fail again. So. A bit like gold, really. We need to see something happening, which is more encouraging right now. There's not uh, um, too much to go on. Um, on that note, I'll call today. If you found the interest useful, back the report on Tuesday morning subscribers. Have a great weekend. Thanks for listening, and bye for now.